Oh no. <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. Alright, uh, you ready? I'm ready! Oh my god! Yeah, you're all gonna have to excuse... Which side is it? This massive shiner on my eye. Uh, I actually... We already recorded this video one time. The whole thing. And I messed up and didn't record. Sean got mad. Now we have to do it again. And he punched me in the face through the internet somehow. Pretty cool. We have for you. <laughs> Forget about it. I'm brushing it off. We have to do this all over again. I need everyone watching this at home right now to grab your tin foil hats. We're going down a rabbit hole today, and by the end of this video, you are going to be convinced, just like I am, and just like Sean is, that there will be a new Nintendo Switch <gasps> next year. Oh, wait. I know, I know, but as I said, just wait, because we made a hell of an argument one time already, and I convinced myself, and now we have to do it all over again. It's it's December 10th. You know what that means. It means, oh, it means so many cool things. One, it means cyberpunk, which sucks. Nobody cares. Actually, I don't know. I haven't got it yet. The second thing about December 10th is Game Awards. Also sucks. Don't, nobody cares. But I am streaming it right now on Twitch if you want to come hang out. The third thing about December 10th is a new Nintendo Switch coming next year. That has nothing to do with December 10th. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to find a way to introduce this video. Sean's here. Hi. He's been here for like an hour because yeah. we recorded this one time already. <laughs> it's okay. Things happen. You know, sometimes you just, there's nothing you can do. Technology, man. Technology is ever changing, isn't it? <laughs> you could say that. Okay. Well, that's, that was cringe. So by the end of this video, I promise you, you'll be convinced. But first, a word from our sponsor. So it's almost Christmas, and Raycon have sponsored- Let me hold on. You may have noticed two things. One, it's almost Christmas. Two, Raycon have sponsored me every single month this year. But this is it. This is your last chance to get a pair of Raycons for the person you love in time for Christmas. And Raycons really do make the perfect Christmas gift. Well, let me tell you. Especially if your loved one is still dealing with wired earbuds in 2020. You know those knockoff ones that have terrible audio quality and nobody wants? Raycons give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, a sleek, compact design, noise isolation- What? noise isolation and a 45 day free return policy. Oh, that's awesome. I know. What? You know, I just realized that means I've had these earbuds for almost two years and I've used them almost every day. Whether I'm uh, out going for a walk or I just want to block the world out for a little while and pretend that nothing else exists. And this year I've done that actually a lot. Gee, yeah, shock. They come in a range of fun colors and patterns, and they start about half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market. And Raycon's being generous this holiday season. On top of their already everyday great prices, they're giving another 15% off to all of you right now. So you can save on your Christmas shopping. All you gotta do is go to that description box down below, or buyraycon.com forward slash beat exactly. em ups. We have a bunch of things I'm gonna go through, we're gonna go through today, facts, kind of, evidence, more likely, that suggest a new Switch is coming next year. But besides all of the hard evidence, I have my own theory. And once I tell you this theory, you are going to be convinced that a new Switch is launching next year. <laughs> Isn't that right, Sean? Oh, you're right, buddy. Of course I am. I'm so sorry we have to do this again. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. History? has a way of repeating itself. And a lot of things that we saw on the 3DS and even what we already have seen on the Switch are kind of coming the back around and they're heading to a point where I'll get to that soon. Sean, we're not, we're not talking about ray tracing or 8K gaming here, are we? No, 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 no ray tracing no, no, 8K stuff. No, no, no. We're talking about 16K and double ray tracing. No, we're not actually, we're not talking about that at all. What we are talking about is a more powerful console with some really cool next gen features. Oh, by the way, Sean, thanks for being here. Yeah, no problem. Thank you for having me on RGT85. Okay, all right. So a lot of these rumors started heating up 
When a, when a little, when a little outlet named Bloomberg reported that Nintendo had been asking their devs to make their games playable in 4K. You want to interrupt me, Sean, like last time? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, so, well, Bloom, okay. Right. <laughs> this is so hard to do again. It really is. So Bloomberg, much like the Wall Street Journal, they don't talk about video game related stuff. They talk about the business side of video games. Primarily, they focus on business in general, on things going on with the economies in the world, on things like the stock market. So when Bloomberg or Wall Street Journal talk about video games, they're talking about it from a business perspective. They're not out there trying to clickbait you and trying to get you to click on their article because they don't really care. They have bigger fish to fry. This is just something that they report on as far as, you know, hardware and occasionally software sales when it's worth talking about. Like for example, Wall Street Journal, uh, when we didn't really know about the Switch Lite, we hadn't even heard of the Switch Lite, Wall Street Journal was reporting that Nintendo were out there asking manufacturers and companies to develop new Switch pods. They were like ramping up production and it ended up becoming the Switch Lite. So the fact that Bloomberg have said that Nintendo are asking devs to make their games playable in 4K, that raises the question, why? Why would Nintendo want their games to be playable in 4K? I wonder. As you look at the title of this video, I wonder. Maybe because the games are going to be upscaled into 4K stuff. And you know, we're not talking about the next big console from Nintendo. Not the Switch 2 or the Super Switch, which is a really cool name actually. Nintendo, if you take it, I'm going to copyright claim you. Copyright strike, copyright takedown. Cease and desist. I'll send you a cease and desist and see how you feel. Ha, now the shoe's on the other feety. Start this video a third time or <laughs> <laughs> next, get those tinfoil hats even tighter. Sean, have you heard of a little something called LED? Oh, uh, yes, uh, mini LED technology, very prominent right now. There's a lot of companies that are releasing mini LED technology to sort of combat the OLED situation that's going on right now, which is a more higher end quality product. The mini LED is at a lower price point, but still can give those sort of same effects. Oh boy, sounds exciting. It does. <laughs> Well, have you heard of LCD? I, I, yeah, L LCD, much older technology. And I believe that there's actually a system out right now that utilizes an LCD screen, if I'm not oh, mistaken. Still? Yeah. In 2020? Sean, can I get it? Oh. <laughs> So Nintendo, and Sean knows more about this, but Nintendo have actually been reaching out to companies to try, you do it, I don't even know. So essentially there's been reports coming to us, um, the latest report being from Taiwan's uh, Economic Daily News publication that Nintendo has been in talks with companies about mini LED technology, essentially to utilize in the Nintendo Switch. They said that Nintendo had met with Intellux, which is a company that manufactures screens for a variety of products. There's definitely something going on here. As I say, over on the RGT85 channel, where there's, okay. where there's smoke, there is fire. Right. And there's a lot of okay. smoke right now. He's not wrong. But either way, whatever company Nintendo might end up using for an LED screen, they are actively out there trying to get one. And why would they want one is the question that nobody is asking because the answer is obvious. I think what Nintendo are going to want to do is create another handheld system, something that already works, that's just an improved version of the Switch. And they can do that in so many ways. It can be as simple as releasing an updated model with a new screen or technology has come a long way in the last five years. Processors, GPUs, it'd be so easy for Nintendo to just put the and make it a better console. Well, and plus when speaking about how fast technology moves, you have to remember at its core, the Nintendo Switch is based on mobile technology. It's based on Nvidia Tegra chip, which has actually advanced already from Nvidia. When you look at the- What? the Nvidia Shield TV Pro is capable of upscaling things to up to 4K, which is a device that I've released- I've never heard this before. <laughs> Which is a device that released in 2019 that utilizes the same chip that's inside of the Nintendo Switch. And NVIDIA currently is doing DLSS technology, which essentially allows for artificial intelligence to upscale images, improve pixel quality, improve resolutions, improve clarity of these things as well, all done by artificial intelligence, meaning that developers don't really have to do anything to utilize it. It just does it on its own. <laughs> 
yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> they just you put you you put the upgrade Integra chip in there that you used on the Shield TV Pro. Maybe tweak it a little bit. Have that DLSS technology, all of which is done by Nvidia. All of which is the main partner for the Nintendo Switch. Oh. If you don't, if you okay, let me get let because this is like end of the video stuff right here. We're not even halfway through. We are about halfway through. The chip that's in the Switch is already being used elsewhere, the same chip, and it features upscaling, artificial intelligent upscaling to 4K, meaning Nintendo can just put that chip back into the Switch, it's already there. I smell pasta. Mm. I think Kim's cooking something, but she's never ever cooked pasta. So if she's cooking pasta, I will be so surprised. First time for everything. At this point, a lot of you who might even be becoming convinced and pff, wow, you're easily convinced, haven't even got to the good stuff yet. You might be getting a little worried, which, you know, I wouldn't blame you because you might be thinking to yourself, ah, on the 3DS, we got the new 3DS and Nintendo tried to release games on the new 3DS that were exclusive to the new 3DS. Don't worry, that's not gonna happen again. I can't say it with complete confidence because Nintendo's always out here throwing curveballs and being dumb, but it clearly didn't work on the 3DS. The, any of the few games that were actually released on the 3D, new 3DS didn't sell very well. No, it definitely wasn't very profitable for them. I think it just needs to be a nice new sleek redesign. Something akin to going from the 3DS Ambassador to the new 3DS XL. Look how different those consoles look and how much nicer it became. And at the very least, Nintendo, add in Joy-Cons that don't drift and just some nicer feeling materials overall. I think that's what we're going to be looking at. You're supposed you agree? To, you were supposed to throw it to me and then I was going to do my dog. Oh yeah, that's right. That's what we did last time we filmed this and it was so much better. <laughs> Sean, what would you like out of the new Switch? Well, one thing I find very interesting is I definitely think it's going to be a better ergonomically designed console. But right now, if you go onto um, Amazon's website, Walmart's website, or Best Buy's website, you're unable to buy a Nintendo Switch dock. The dock is unavailable right now. There's no real time frame of when it's going to come in. You can buy it on either Nintendo's website or on GameStop. Why did all these other major retailers not have a dock in stock? Yeah, I do think the fact that Nintendo doesn't want people out there buying the old dock anymore and taking it off the shelves is a telling sign that something else must be coming. Also, the dock has hardware in it that makes the games look better on the TV. So if they are making a new Switch, it would make sense they'd want to upgrade the dock as well. Not wrong. Not wrong. Never wrong. Okay, so there's all the reasons why it's definitely happening. You're already convinced and I know it, but wait. Because I'm about to blow your mind. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Earlier, I mentioned history repeating itself, and here is what I mean. Sean, the 3DS, have you heard of it? I have. Good, I'm glad. It would have been really awkward if you hadn't. Sean, the new 3DS, you heard of that? Yeah, I, I, you know, I bought both of them on launch day. Great. Now I'm going to throw a couple of words at your face and I'm going to see your reaction. And hopefully okay. it's the same as last time and you can fake it again. Hyrule right. Warriors. Great game. But last are we... No. no. Your, your eyes lit up last time because you knew exactly where I was going with this. Oh, yeah, I... yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Well, I thought you were going to like be like Hyrule Warriors 3DS and then Hyrule Warriors new 3DS. Oh, is that what I did last time? Yeah. You kind okay, of hold on, hold on, hold on. Sean? Yes? Hyrule Warriors 3DS. <laughs> oh yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, right. Okay, Sean, Sean ugh, right? Ugh, like ugh. great, great, great Wii U game, and then got it on the 3DS. Oh. And like, ugh. Spit on it. The the frame rates, the visuals, disgusting. The, the, the lack of enemies on screen. Oh like, my was, gosh, can you good imagine? Good upgrade to the actual core gameplay, but the actual game itself was just mm. not a great experience on that not standard, good, not good standard 3DS. But now, Sean, if I was to say to you, Hyrule Warriors new 3DS. Oh, yeah. Now, that's, oh, a, that's baby. a gem. That's <laughs> oh, frame God. rates. More enemies <laughs> on screen. Much, much better experience. If you don't remember or you just didn't pay attention, when Nintendo released and announced the new 3DS, something they really used as a key marketing strategy was the game Hyrule Warriors. They flaunted it around in trailers for the new 3DS, even just in general in marketing, because of how much better that game looked and played on the system. A reason why that game was so good in general, just to highlight it, was because of the technical capabilities of the game. You had all these enemies on the screen, it looked really flashy, and the fact that the 3DS couldn't really run it that 
that well because of what the kind of game it was and now the new 3ds was running it so well it really showed how much better the system was and gave players a reason to pick it up because they wanted all their games to play that much better and look that much better sean yes what game just released recently on the nintendo switch i, I believe you're talking about hyrule warriors age of calamity actually Immortals Phoenix right no it was it was Hyrule oh, Warriors man. Age of Calamity it released even though it clearly was a little rough around the edges with the frame rates dipping down below 10 into the one digit numbers why would Nintendo be okay with this why would they not really have a problem with making their console look bad hmm. if if they could turn around in several months time and release a new version of their console that is now running that game at 60 FPS and 1080p and maybe even upscaling it to 4K. If you could showcase that the old Switch was doing this and now the new one is doing this, it's literally the same marketing strategy they used back on the 3DS. But Sean, there's yes. one other thing they could do to recreate a certain kind of success. What would do that be? Do you know what that is? I don't. You tell me. Oh, you do because we, as we said, have filmed this already. <laughs> uh. There's a little game. You might have heard of it. I might like have. to call it Breath of the Wild. It launched with the Switch. And even though it also launched on the Wii U alongside it, it was still a system seller for the Switch. It still made the Switch successful on day one because everyone wanted to play Zelda portable, handheld, and at the very least, they wanted to play it as good as it, as it could look and run as well as it could run. Even if it was a little better, even if it was a tiny improvement, they still wanted the best of the best from their new Zelda. <sighs> If only Nintendo had been working on another Zelda game, <laughs> you know, right? They could release it the same day, you know, like well, wait, Breath wait, of the uh, Wild 2. What are you going to say? <laughs> I was going to say, isn't there a Breath of the Wild 2 game? I'm pretty sure we, you know, saw a little yes. trailer, a little teaser. <laughs> they could release a new Switch revision with Breath of the Wild 2. Can you imagine? If Nintendo could hype up a new console releasing, not only showcasing one Zelda game, Hyrule Warriors running and looking so much better, but launching with a brand new Zelda title and being able to play Zelda in 4K for the first time. Exactly, and I think that that's the trend that it's going to be. You look at a game like Breath of the Wild 2, you look at a game like Monster Hunter Rise, which just happens to be coming out at the end of March. I'm sure that's an absolute coincidence. But Monster Hunter Rise doesn't look like your traditional Switch game. The game looks absolutely gorgeous. There's effects going on in there we haven't seen on Switch games. This, of course, is also running on the RE engine as well, which is the first time that the RE engine will be on the Nintendo Switch, which, of course, is responsible for games like, oh, I don't know, Devil May Cry 5, Resident Evil 7, Seven, Resident Evil 8, Resident Evil 2 Remake, Resident Evil 3 Remake. So that really opens up possibilities and stronger hardware could potentially showcase what the Nintendo Switch is capable of. And you might even end up seeing some of those games end up coming over. And there's, you know, I got, is it, you think it ends there? You no. think you're already convinced? No. There's two other games you may have forgotten about and I wouldn't blame you for it. Sean, what are those games? Um, I, there was this game called, you know, the, the Bayonettas, the Bayonetta, Bay Bay what? the Bayonetta, the triple, the Samus Prime Metroid 4, the Samus Prime Metroid 4, <laughs> two games that were announced over three years ago and have been very inconspicuously absent. I think it's popcorn that Kim's cooking, by the way. I f Pasta corn. Look, yeah, unless Metroid is a complete disaster and there is nothing to see and whatever there is to see, we don't want to see it. I'm starting to think now that would make sense that we haven't seen anything because if they released a trailer with this game looking glorious, it would raise even more questions than there already are. But also holding off and waiting to show it until they announce a new Switch. These would be two perfect games to showcase the additional power of the system and get that hardcore audience to be like, oh wow, you know, I do need this upgrade. This is actually pretty substantial in what it's allowing them to do in terms of visual fidelity, which, you know, you got to keep up with the Joneses and this would be the perfect way to do it. I know, I know. It's happening, isn't it? Next year. I told you to trust me. I told you to trust me. And now all of a sudden, every all the naysayers down there are like, you proved me wrong, Wood.
you proved me wrong. We're not talking like the difference between PlayStation 5 and the Switch. We're just talking about something that can play and do things a little, or hopefully a lot better. And that's all Nintendo really needs to do. And I think they know that. If they want to extend this lifespan, especially now that we're in next gen and we have those consoles, at the very least, all they have to do is release a new version of the console that's a little bit better. Everyone has 4K TVs now. So the very, very minimum is to get their games to 4K, which is what they clearly want to do by asking people to get their games to 4k it just brings them up to speed it brings them up to date and it gives nintendo fans a new revamped version of the console that will tie us over for three to four years because nintendo has something special with their console that the other consoles don't have and can't do nintendo doesn't need to go out and invent the next gen version of their thing right now all they need to do is bring what they already have up to speed because people are already gonna want it for the handheld side of it so mark my r uh, mark r uh, words there will be a new switch revision whether that is next year or not remains to be seen but i'm telling you now it was planned to be next year and now you are convinced didn't i tell you didn't i tell you if we're wrong there's gonna be so much egg on our face <laughs> I mean, I think we've adequately uh, convinced every single person that watched this video. Not wrong. Hmm. All right. Well, thanks for thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. No, no, I appreciate it. Everyone go check out Sean, RGT85. Also, uh, Sean, I got a question for you. What's up? How do you feel about Raycons? I mean, I got no problem with them. You know, Ray, remember Ray <laughs> J had that banger. He had that one. Well, how'd it go? Uh, it I'll doesn't matter. Wait a minute. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. While Sean sings, check out the link dun. down below mm. and uh, grab yourself some Raycons. I'd really appreciate oh, it. Like the wait video. A oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Like the video and subscribe. <laughs> and uh, let me know what the first game you're going to get on your brand new Switch Pro is. What do you think they'll call it? Oh, God. It's probably something bad. I'll probably just be new Switch. And they, they need to keep it simple. Yeah. All right, bye.